So when I was about done recording one of the videos that I've got lined up, a brand new trailer for Doom Eternal dropped yesterday. By the time I watched it a thousand times, I still cannot explain how amazing this new trailer is. Stay tuned, don't go anywhere. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Coffee and Doom and I hope you're having a great day so far. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys my thoughts on the new Doom Eternal trailer that just dropped yesterday. After watching it a thousand times, I'm still blown away by how much story was actually in the trailer. So I'll put the original link down below in the description if you guys want to check out the trailer for yourself, because I don't know about you, I want to go straight into this and break it down. Okay, so starting off, we see Earth in 2151. Unfortunately, it's not looking good, as the demons have overrun the planet. A news report in the background says that the casualties are in the billions. So it's just like how Hugo Martin described it, a catastrophic event of biblical proportions. Then we see a tiny floating rock near Earth, which we'll get into in a second. Then it cuts to show us a titan towering over the ruined buildings of Earth, where we get to hear Khan Maker speak for the first time, saying how it's humanity's chance to repent. So if you remember from my video that I made about the hub world in Doom Eternal, this is it. Thinking about it, my theory about the slipgates could prove to be true. But anyway, we see the Doom Slayer walking around the hub to pick up his combat shotgun as we hear the dialogue that was shown at the Game Awards. Against all the evil that hell can conjure, all the wickedness that mankind can produce, we will send unto them only you. Then we get to see a glimpse of his face, which is strange because the Doom Slayer looks more like the Doom Marine from Doom 3, which Doom 3 isn't even canon to begin with, I don't think. But still, it's an interesting look nonetheless. Then it cuts to the part of the Doom Slayer descending down to the core of Mars in an escape pod. Then someone says, saving your people will not bring you peace it will only make the burden you carry worse. Not sure on who this could be, but I'm going to leave that open for speculation. Next we see Night Sentinels greet him as he enters Sentinel Prime. Then we go back to Khan Maker again and she explains how they have survived through the sacrifices that people have made in the name of their prosperity and questions the Doom Slayer why he defies their traditions as the slip gates to Earth opens up. His answer is quite simple. Then it cuts to some gameplay with some amazing sounding music from Mick Gordon, um, I mean Jesus 2.0. The first scene shows off the 3 round burst mod from the rocket launcher, that's coming back from Doom 2016. Then the next shot shows us the Doom Slayer jumping up to this hallway with a crusher and a button right next to it. The button gets shot, the trap gets activated, crushing the demons to bits. Then the carcass gets microwaved down to a crisp by the plasma gun. Then we see the Doom Hunter once again, but this time we see more of the shield for the chain gun. I wonder how effective this mod will be, only time will tell. Next up we're at what appears to be in Erdak, the homeworld of the Makers, going head to head with a Hell Knight. Then we cut to Sentinel Prime I think again, but it shows us a brilliant looking headshot. Then the auto shotgun mod followed by a death from above glory kill. In this next clip we see the Knight Sentinels gain up on the Slayer, but instead of their spears being coloured blue, they're red instead. A voice tells him we must move quickly, there are those that seek to stop this. Again, not sure on who this character is, but we'll soon find out. After that we bump into the Marauder, and holy shit he actually talks and sounds menacing as hell. He tells the Doom Slayer, you are nothing but a usurper, a false idol. So notice how the Marauder went through a red slip gate and the Doom Slayer went through a blue slip gate. And notice the sign behind the Slayer that says ARC, which could mean three of these acronyms, Argent Research Center, Argent Regulation Center, or the Argent Research Corporation. And assuming how Argent Power is a very powerful energy that can destroy or build mass amounts of civilizations, could this be a faction war or a power struggle between good and evil for Argent Power? Leave your thoughts down below in the comments. I could go much deeper into the lore aspect, but for now let's just keep going from what I saw. So moving on, we see the Doom Slayer on what appears to be a giant mech demon. Could this potentially be the Icon of Sin? Who knows? 
we see a slipgate open right underneath and the Doom Slayer jumps for his life, while yet another voice, which I don't really know, tells him the only thing they fear is you. Then we see the Slayer wielding the Crucible and the showcase of the different glory kills, and then we get to see the very first look of the Gladiator. He looks awesome. Notice how his head looks just like the original Baron of Hell from the classic games. Also, we get to take a closer look at the Destroyer Blade mod for the Ballista, which acts like Siege Mode, but instead of shooting one singular beam, it will shoot a horizontal blade tearing through anything. Then we get to see the Tyrant once again, but we get to chop him up to pieces with the Crucible, while the Heavy Metal Choir screams rip and tear. <laughs> And that's the trailer. I think this is definitely the best trailer I've seen in years. Whoever was behind this trailer done an excellent job with it. That's not all though. We get a tweet from lead engine programmer for id Software, Billy Khan, and this is what he had to say. Doom Eternal is the best game we have ever made. It is brilliant. I cannot wait for everyone to finally play it. It runs butter smooth. The combat is fluid as silk. Id Tech 7 is pushing so much geometric detail, the image quality is bonkers. Get excited. Oh yes, I'm already excited, you know, since Doom Eternal got announced at E3 two years ago. I'm still excited now, ever since then. And also one last thing, the base versions of the PS4 and Xbox One will be running Doom Eternal at 60 frames per second. In case if you don't have the latest hardware of the consoles, Doom 2016 ran amazingly on my original Xbox One while I still had it. So there's no doubt Doom Eternal is going to run beautifully, regardless of what hardware you have. I mean, if you've still got a 486, yeah, I think it's about time to upgrade. Anyway, that concludes today's video. If any new information pops up on Doom Eternal, I'll keep you guys posted still. So if you've enjoyed this video as I've enjoyed making it, please be sure to leave a like down below, it really does help me out a ton. And also be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss any videos that I've got planned in the future. And have a great morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. I'm Coffee and Doom, thank you so much for watching and for all of your support, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.